Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, we're on uh, day two today of our 30 days challenge. Uh, today's project uh, is per schedule. Okay, it's I, I, I on um, SFU data channel. Okay, uh, data channel is how we do text chat. Okay, and you can transfer files and stuff like that. But for today's purpose, I'm just going to show you how to do a basic uh, text chat. Okay. All right, to start off, we will clone our project, okay, from one of my previous tutorials, okay, it's the Ion Mini to Mini uh, React JS, okay, we'll do it in React today, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to clone it, okay, so that's finished, so we're just going to go into the directory, Okay, we're gonna get, check out this. Uh, we'll call this uh, data channel. Okay, we'll, we'll create a new branch and I'll upload this onto the GitHub as well. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use WebStorms today. Okay, we'll open it up in WebStorm. Okay, <clears throat> to start off, okay, we're gonna use we're gonna grab one of the uh, library okay it's called react chat widget okay we'll use that to do our UI so let's go yarn add we'll add that while that's there okay we'll open our app JS I will leave a link down below um, that where to get this package okay well, that's all done uh, let's hide this for now okay and we need to import the package okay, import React <coughs> chat widget okay and two things we want out of this one is widget okay that's the actual component and also the at response message okay uh, they actually this package uh, this library sorry um actually manages everything for us we don't even have to do any state management okay it does it it does it for us out, out of the box okay and what we're going to do is we're going to add the ui part on it first okay we'll let's do that widget and what we need here is close it and we just, uh, for this purpose okay we're only gonna choose one of when are you gonna use one props okay which is handle I can't believe we, we don't get auto complete for this okay anyway all right that's what we want handle message and we're gonna go and make this function here we get all this ready okay then we're going to set up the data, data channel which is fairly easy okay after that so what we're going to do is we'll go right down the bottom here of our cons handle okay handle new user message it's cool and we expect a new message and a function okay and then uh, for now we're just going to console log it okay because we haven't got our data channel yet so we better just say a uh, new message, we'll call it, and then we'll log out our message, okay, for now, we'll come back to this, handle new message, <clears throat> okay, excuse me, okay, now we will do some adjustment to our um, previous code, okay, to start off, we need to create another uh, PC another client and another signal okay <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go uh, signal local okay it's the first one we need and then signal remote and then we need a uh, client okay hold on we need client local and client remote okay and we will go down there and do some adjustments now we say signal okay we need two of them uh, the current design okay uh, I have tried it uh, only way to get it work is by doing this method okay and same as clone we need to clone oops clone another one and we call this signal local okay signal remote okay and then client local client remote okay it's it's basically using two different connections okay um 
and make sure they matches here okay client goes to the signal local and the remote will have to go to signal remote okay so we have to make sure we get this correct okay and then we have to go and change that has to be two as well okay might as well copy that first and the first one will be signal local okay and then client local join okay we're joining twice signal remote and then client remote okay we get two of them okay on here on track we will do client local on track we, we actually can do uh, client remote it will still work but uh, I, I have tried it okay it gives it does some really strange things so let's not use that okay and before we continue uh, let's make a ref for our data channel okay data channel equals use ref okay and we will in initialize it shortly okay so what we're going to do is we go right below uh, where are we below here we have to do the client we have to do the listener for the data channel oops since we use use ref okay you have to go uh, dot current okay dot on data channel okay that's the event we will get uh, okay and we dis destruct this okay because we will get a channel from this uh, function okay what we're gonna do here uh, we we will let's do a log eh? console log uh, data channel no actually we don't need to log this let's do this one channel dot on message okay and we destruct this okay we get a data uh, out of this again okay and then we're going to use our um this package here the add response it's basically when we get a message from the data channel we add it into this function okay this function basically is an array okay so we're just adding this on all right just believe it or not just one more thing we need to do and we can do some testing uh, before we do that let's make a sent function okay for the what you call it uh for our uh when we push send okay we send the message into the data channel basically we're broadcasting what we want what we're sending okay what we're typing i should say We'll call this function send and we'll take in a message Oops. okay what we're going to do here we, ha we have to do some checks here okay we have to check make sure the data channel is open okay current uh, but ready state okay uh, we're not using typescript that's why we're not really getting our um, auto completion here okay if we use typescript it would have been a lot easier okay so if the uh, what you call it the data channel is really state is open right now then we can send to the data channel okay send and we pass this message in okay all right now what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the we, we, we need to create the data channel okay straight uh, we'll put it here once we push publish okay we put it down after the catch okay what we're going to do is go data channel dot current equals basically we're initializing it okay local create data channel and we'll call this data okay uh, let's copy that because we need it that twice just in case we broadcast a screen okay because this we can do a screen broadcast oops wrong place after the catch all right i uh, think we're pretty much done let me have a look okay we need where's our okay we need to come back here to do the send remember we handle this message but we've done nothing to it now because we got this send function down below okay now we can send them a new message all right believe it or not we're done it's time to do some testing okay first first of all uh let's start up our ionsfu okay uh, i lost it okay bear with me um 
going in there. Put the video in SFE, okay. And let's start it up. <clears throat> if you haven't seen the previous uh, videos, I highly recommend you go and watch it because it shows you how to build this original code, okay. And that's how you start the ION SFE, okay. Now, let's do some testing. Uh, moment of truth, really. Start. I got something else running. Sorry. Let's close the other one. Uh, clear that. And start. Okay, cool. Let's try it out. Local host 3000. Oops. 989 and 104. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Client local. And same as here. Client local. Okay. Because we're using the local as our publisher and the remote as a receiver, okay? So when we listen to the data channel, we're using the remote, okay? That's what that is. All right, here's another problem we're spotting here, okay? Uh, reason is this client remote is a let. It's not a, what do you call it? It's not a ref, so we, I put an extra current on it. Okay, that's probably why, you know, most developers do not like, you know, adjusting code, even your own code. You're like, I'd rather rewrite this and we won't get all this issues. Alright, now, moment of truth. I think everything should be fine now. Alright, at least we this is up. Okay, what we're going to do here is we publish. Oh, it looks like our little button didn't show up. Uh, guess what? We've missed something, okay? Because we have to import the CSS um, for the style. I should say for for this uh, react chat widget okay let's get that uh, that's in the documentation okay I will leave a link for you guys and we need to import this okay to make it work here we go here's our little button it's a little bit offline okay for our purpose we're not gonna you know try to fix this uh, I'll leave that to you okay um, let's open another window eh? let's publish this guy first and we'll open another window and we should be in in theory, okay, we should be able to chat with each other of text text. Let's turn that thing off. I do this every time. Um sorry about that. Alright, let's check this out. Uh, what's up? Here you go. You even get a no little notification here. See we we haven't done anything at all, you know, for the styling. It does it out, out of the box. Okay, look. Uh I am pair one all right we get it it's live uh we can add another pair we should be able to do three uh, i mean anyone in a room we should be able to do this Go publish okay we get all three pairs and i am pair three okay here we go and then i am pair two looks like it works okay as it expected um yeah so that's pretty much it uh there is a little issue okay um need to fix because every time you write something say i am pair two you see this extra line here okay that shouldn't be there if you do p2p or p 2 peer um connection you won't get that because we're using sfu so it doesn't the server the data channel when data comes in doesn't know who it is so what you need to do is you need to make this message into a object okay I'm not going to do it, um, I'll leave that to you as a, you know, like a little side project. What you need to do is, when you send the message, send it as an object and chuck a user ID in there. And then when, when you go handle message here, and you check if it's your own ID, don't send it, then this is solved, okay? Alright, um, that's everything guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, because we're only on day 2 right now, uh, there's another 28 uh, interesting videos coming shortly, and please, uh, and also thank you, being part of it, and we'll see you tomorrow, thank you.